Welcome to Design Domination, where you'll learn to become a better, more business-savvy designer so you can dominate your competition. Hi, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Colleen Grotzer, and in this episode of Design Domination, I'm talking about whether or not you should put pricing on your website. Stick around to find out the pros and cons for each and what to consider when deciding whether or not to put pricing on your website. Like many designers, you might be wondering, should you put pricing on your website? Will it help you get new clients? Will it prevent you from getting more clients? Let's start with the benefits and how having pricing on your website helps you. The first reason is screening prospects. Putting prices on your website can help eliminate tire kickers who are only price shopping. This helps you because you don't waste time in the sales process on potential clients who can't afford you or don't put that much value in your services. I mean, if you wouldn't get out of bed for less than $5,000 for a logo design (laughs) and someone expects to pay $100, you don't want to spend that time trying to convince them that your service is worth that. Their expectations or their budget and your fees are really far apart. Plus, you shouldn't have to convince anyone to hire you. Prospects who are price shopping are often looking for the next deal. They're not usually in it for a long-term relationship. And once they find a designer who will do it cheaper, they'll leave. You don't want to win work because you're the cheapest designer on the block. No one wins the race to the bottom. But not only that, keep in mind that it costs more to acquire a new client than it does to get more work from an existing one. So do you want someone who sees the value or just the price? So it saves you time and frustration. And that leads me to reason number two, transparency and trust. If you put prices on your website, you'll be seen as more open and transparent. Potential clients might feel like you won't try and just charge whatever you can get away with once you learn more about them and their budget. A third reason is positioning. Putting pricing on your website can actually help position you in the marketplace, how you're perceived. If you want to be seen as the McDonald's of design services, There's nothing wrong with that, as long as you're profitable. And lower pricing would align with that positioning. But if you have years of experience in a certain niche or industry and have results to show for that, then having higher pricing could be part of your marketing strategy to set you apart from other designers who aren't specializing in a certain area. Think of it like doctors who are general practitioners versus specialists. People are usually willing to pay more for the specialist, and they expect to pay more for the specialist. The fourth one is setting expectations. When you put your pricing out there, you're setting expectations. So if you're uncomfortable talking about money, like most creatives are, this just makes the money talk easier. It helps eliminate any sticker shock. If they've already seen your pricing and they get in touch with you, that just tells you they're probably okay with your pricing. But this not only helps you, it helps prospects too. It gives them that expectation of cost. It tells them how much they can expect to pay to work with you. Now let's get into some other pros of putting pricing on your website, but these actually help prospects. Budgeting. Sometimes potential clients are in the research stage and they're not ready to hire. So they're planning ahead and they're looking to see what they might need to budget for in the future once they decide to move forward. At this stage, they may or may not have a realistic expectation of what something will cost. They might think it will cost $500, but after they do some research, realize it will cost them $5,000 for the quality that they want and the features they need. Another pro is saving time. You'll save time by screening prospects up front, like I mentioned, but they won't waste their time either. They don't necessarily want to have to get on a call and go through a spiel, what they perceive to be a spiel, just to get an idea of cost. So what are some cons with including pricing on your website? The first is that it could potentially set the wrong expectation. Every project and client are different. So putting prices on your website could potentially set the wrong expectation if a potential client's project is less or more complicated than the typical projects that you take on or show on your website. Now, you might understand this important difference, but they might not. So they might assume they would pay less for a larger project that doesn't seem to them to be a larger project. 
or maybe they assume they would end up paying more than you would charge for a smaller project. Another one is limiting what you charge. Putting pricing on your site might make you feel limited in what you charge if a larger client comes along and expects to pay the pricing they saw on your site, rather than what is necessary for their specific needs. Blair Ends is always saying, you know, you've got to price the client, not the job. So if you usually work with a certain size client and a larger one comes around, they might expect to pay less. They might think you're baiting and switching or trying to price gouge them. A third con is missing opportunities to educate. Potential clients with lower expectations may run, in which case you may miss an opportunity to educate them. And they may or may not come back later. And I've actually had that happen. A prospect reached out to me to ask for a range for a new website and expected that what they were looking for would cost a fraction of what I charged. And when I told them this, I explained why and what would be involved with the work. A few months later, they came back with the money ready to work with me. Another con is removing the human connection. Part of why a client may want to hire you is for your personality. And if you put pricing on your website, they may not reach out. You might miss an opportunity to talk with them, and that could otherwise help you get the work. Another con is showing your hand. Putting pricing on your website means that your competition will see it, which could then lead them to lowering or raising their pricing to match yours. Now, of course, that's not to say that they offer work of similar value or that they even have the same niche, of course. Putting pricing on your website is definitely something that you can test out. You know, try it one way for a few weeks or months, and then try it the other way for a few weeks or months. And see if you get more inquiries or if you get more inquiries from more qualified prospects. Otherwise, a happy medium could be to use a phrase such as starting at, you know, X, whatever, or sending a prospect a price sheet or some examples of price ranges for previous work you've done just to give them an idea of cost. You could also consider adding video content on your site to establish more of a connection with a potential client before they reach out. And that gives them a chance to get to know you a bit, and that can also build trust. If they like you and seem to connect with you that way, then they might be willing to pay more than they would someone else, or that might just be the edge to get hired over another designer. Now, if you're not sure what to charge in the first place, be sure to check out episode 30, Avoid These 12 Mistakes When Pricing Your Design Work. And if you're looking for ways to screen clients or aren't sure how that can work for you, Be sure to check out episode 46, which is six reasons that freelance designers should screen prospective clients. And if you need one-on-one help with this or another creative business issue, inquire about a mentoring session at creative-boost.com and then go to the mentoring page. Are you looking to gain confidence, clarity, and a competitive edge in a crowded marketplace? I offer mentoring, resources, digital products, and courses, including accessibility for designers and web developers that will empower you to be the design hero, not another order taker. Find them at creative-boost.com and come and connect with me and other design dominators in the Design Domination Facebook group. (laughs) 